Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video today, guys. We're back with another episode of Warframe. Now, I have quite the interesting story for you guys today, but before that, um, two quick things. First of all, I have to make sure I'm recording. Uh, okay, I am. Good. And second of all, um, I've been challenged to a little, well, challenge. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got one of uh, the new viewers to the channel and a new member of the Discord um, has challenged me basically uh here's here's what happened i'm gonna break it down for y'all and, and i apologize if i'm not as like fluent with the commentary as i usually am i'll explain why uh because because it's, it's a it's a pretty wild story all right it's, it's a crazy story <laughs> but um anyway so here's the thing um i in the last episode i figured out that chroma was basically a dragon dude right but i i didn't realize that this was chroma okay i i saw orochi running chroma prime and I thought it was super cool. I didn't make the connection that this, uh, that regular Chroma and the Dragon Warframe that I had seen Orochi on were the same until the end of last episode, right? When I went and actually checked the store. I am greatly disappointed with how Chroma looks, okay? And so I asked on the Discord if Hungarian Knight had any uh, Chroma Prime relics and if they were vaulted or not or whatever. So I could go and uh, farm them with him to get a Chroma Prime. Um, I'm not even gonna hold you, alright, uh, this, this new viewer of mine, and I'm actually gonna pull up his name right now, because it kind of feels a little disrespectful just to keep calling him new viewer, uh, Vendras, there we go, I was gonna say Vendras with an N, but I felt that, like, that wasn't right, which is why I pulled it up, so thank god I did, v uh, Vidras, or Vedras. I'm just gonna call it Vedras, but, um, Vendras, right, uh, he, he kinda, I'm not gonna even lie, this is kind of embarrassing, but he was basically like, bruh, um, there, there's no point in maxing a Warframe you're, you're not gonna use. Like, have you even, like, checked his skills and shit? And I was like, bro, he's a dragon. Like, like what other, like, uh, reason do I need? And he was like, alright, 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 alright. He, he, here's what I'm gonna do. I have a full set of, uh, Chroma, Chroma Prime, right? Blueprints. I, I have the full set. But, I'm not gonna give it to you unless you, you play the story quest, which is a new strange, in, um, until you fully complete that story quest, because that's the story quest that gives you the, the Chroma Prime blueprint, and then you go ahead and you farm the rest of the parts needed, you, you, um, sorry, not Chroma Prime, just regular Chroma, and then you go ahead, you build regular Chroma, you get him to level 30, and if you still like him and you still want Chroma Prime, only then will I give it to you. So so unless you go through the whole grind, right, I'm not going to give it to you. Um, Hungarian Knight later on was like, oh, I, I, I got the parts if you just want them, but I'm like, no, 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 I'm going to do it. And he, here's here's the reason why, okay, I'm not going to even hold you. Um, this this kind of feels a little fitting because I'm, I didn't even bother checking, <laughs> it's just a little silly, but I didn't even bother checking chroma prime skills before deciding that i just wanted his prime variant and i just wanted him i've gotten so used and this is kind of like a very spoiled mindset but i've gotten so used to just like getting all the primes like for example i didn't even want things prime they just gave me this shit bro I'm, I'm never gonna use this shit i'm not even gonna hold you but like i've gotten just so used to them just giving me warframes that i don't need or and that like i'm never gonna use to the point that i've only that i started prioritizing prime warframes for like like, like we had wukong okay i could have had wukong months ago or like like weeks ago or whatever but i specifically insisted on farming the prime variant which is the only reason it took this long you know what i mean like Hungarian Knight and McKay were, were completely down with getting me a regular Wukong, and I was like, no, 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 I want the Prime version, <laughs> which, like, I don't really know, you know what I mean? I've just gotten so spoiled, I want all the Prime versions. Like, for example, look at this. I have all the pieces for Revenant Prime, but, like, a part of me doesn't want to build it, because, like, if I'm going to be honest, I, I never, I'm not, probably never going to play him. But then another part of me is like, well, I'm going to need the Mastery anyway. And then a third part of me is like, bruh, I should just sell this set for platinum. This could be my first platinum sell. But then, like, the fourth part of me is like, bruh, I'm gonna need the prime for my collection anyway, because I want to collect all the primes in the game. So, like, I, I might as well build it... At build him and that's why this man has just been sitting in my inventory for like straight up months because like i just i don't know what to do with him <laughs> like i don't want to build him but at the same time i do want to build him but it feels like a waste to build him because i'm never going to use him and so i'm kind of like in this uh like super conundrum right so that's kind of why I'm, I'm i'm agreeing with the um the challenge because honestly i need a uh, like a reset to my <laughs> to my mentality anyway so um 
yeah, we're going to be farming up Chroma Prime in the next couple of episodes. Uh, I don't know how difficult it is, but regardless, like, I, here's the problem. I just really hate the way this guy looks. Now, here's the thing. I did go ahead and check what his skills are on the wiki. From what I can tell, he seems to be a, um, a weapons platform, okay? So, basically, the way it works is um, so Spectral Scream is basically just a fire breath attack, okay? And depending on, like, your energy color, because, like, you, it basically it works the same way that Excalibur works, where if you change the color of his, like, uh, energy, it'll change the element accordingly. And so, basically, he just has, like, fire breath or ice breath or toxic breath, depending on the color. Um, Elemental Ward is kind of... The, uh, well, sorry, not Elemental Ward, this is not the main ability, sorry, uh, this is actually, uh, what I was thinking of was Vex, Vex Arm, anyway, Elemental Ward, um, basically gives defensive energy, you know, here's the issue, I don't know what the hell defensive energy is meant to mean, I think it means Overguard, but I have zero clue, I assume it's Overguard, like, 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 that's just what I assume, but I don't actually know. Like, depending on Chroma's elemental alignment, an offensive area of effect is created. Chroma and its nearby allies are imbued with defensive energy. Like, like what does that even mean, though, right? Um, is it overguard? Is it not overguard? I have no clue. Um, but act actually, hold on. I'm looking at the stats right now, and I'm like, oh, I, I think I see. I think I see. Hold on. I think defensive energy... See, these stats didn't exist on the wiki, so this is the first time I'm checking it in-game, which is why I didn't realize this. Um, okay, so basically, if you're using fire, like, like if, if your uh, chroma is set to, with a fire affinity, um, defensive energy, so to speak, is going to be a 20% health boost, 25% um, damage per second, and then a um, status, 2% status chance. Uh, full electricity, it's gonna be, uh, 5 radius, damage multiplier, uh, status chance, shield capacity, toxin is holster damage, holster damage duration, reload speed, and status chance, and then cold is gonna be armor, damage multiplier, and status chance, um, I think that, th maybe I'm misunderstanding, but from what I understand, basically, It'll give you these specific buffs. I, I, I'm planning on running a heat uh, Corona anyway. So basically, it'll give me 20, a 20% 20 health, health boost. A, um, like a damage per second buff. And then a status chance boost as well. Is what I assume. Anyway. The, um, the Vex armor though. This is the main sort of, um... This is the main thing that makes Chroma Prime, like, like, this is his main ability, you know what I mean? Like, for Ember, the main ability is to drop meteors, this is the main ability of Chroma. Um, from, the way I understand it, basically, is if he kills with a melee weapon, he'll bolster his defenses, right? He'll, he'll boost his, basically, defensive ability. If he kills with a ranged weapon... He boosts his um, weapon damage. Now, and now here's the best part. He doesn't just boost his weapon damage. He boosts the weapon damage of the entire squad. And the same with the um, defensive thing. If he kills with a melee weapon, he'll boost the um, defenses of the entire squad. I, I think he's going to be probably the first weapon platform that I've actually played. And I don't really know how to feel about that because I, like, I don't have like great weapon. I mean, Dex Nakana and like, AX-52, AX I'm going to keep for a while, while... Um, at least until I, I get to Mastery Nine and I finally have, um, and I can finally take that, um, like, shotgun, like, you know, that, that blade shotgun, whatever, like, that, that sword shotgun from Borrow. I had no idea what the, how to call it, because it's such a weird weapon, but, um, until we can get that shit. Um, also, I don't know how long this has been, uh, I've been kind of rambling for a while. Okay, only nine minutes, well, I mean, only nine minutes, nine minutes is still crazy. Um, let's go ahead and start the new Strange, and then I'll, I'll tell you guys about the, um, <laughs> about the story about what's been going on on uh, new strains there we go so this is the one we need to to unlock uh corona so so let's go boys let's start uh begin please operator, all right there we go operator what is what so wonderful things uh why are you asking me how would i know find cephalon samarius's missing sentinels i have no clue what any of that shit means but sure yeah why not uh <laughs> why not bro sure um uh, give me one second, everyone, and I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we back. Sorry about that. Let's get right into the mission. 
Um, straight up, I have no- Oh, we're actually on Ceres? Oh, finally we do some shit on Ceres. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Ceres is probably the planet, besides Demios, that I'm most excited to be on. And that I'm now most disappointed to be on. Because no shit has happened. My sentinels entered this Grenier prison, searching for a Purus anomaly. Their last known location was the prison block. I- Okay, so I have no idea what a Cephalon Samarius even is. In fact, I don't even think I know what a Cephalon is. Like, like I've, I've obviously, I'm not stupid, and I, and I, and I've played some Railjack missions. So I assume Cephalons are just what the AIs of this universe are. But that's never been confirmed to me. Like, like why, why doesn't the game explain any of this shit to me? <laughs> Old models is important. I would expect you to know that Lotus. Oh, yo, wait, hold on. He can hear the Lotus. Hey, yo, she's not just a figment of my imagination? Hey, yo, alright. Alright, it's confirmed, boys. I'm not schizophrenic. <laughs> Wait, does that mean Taz is real, too? Oh, hell no. Hell no, nah, bro. The universe can't handle Taz. Bro, how are you not dead? Oh, there we go. I was about to say, bro, how, how many heavy slams to the brain does it take to kill it? God damn. That got dark. That shit got dark. <laughs> I really just asked how many heavy slams to the brain does it take to kill one man? That shit is crazy. Yo. Oh, bro, I swear to God, Warframe brings out my inner psychopath. Save the hostages. Uh, I would love to, except that uh, apparently my Ember cannot climb walls fast enough, so... Um, I'm not gonna lie, y'all probably fuck. Um, uh, actually, wait, no, hold on, I've got, a, I've got like a minute to, to save these people. Oh, no, nah, it's one of these shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna hate this. Hold on, no, 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 how the hell am I almost dead, bro? What? It's good, bro, no. Yo, what? No, no, no. Explain to me why these people can hit you while you're in the terminal. Like, what am I supposed to do, just keep killing people? Because it's not like they're just gonna let me peacefully, like, hack this terminal, though. <laughs> like, what are my options here? <laughs> oh, alright, hold on. But now let me try to... Hold on. Okay, you know what? Cypher. Hold on. Can I, wait, how can I use a Cypher? Hold on. How do I... How do I use a Cypher? It's literally not letting me use a Cypher. How do I... I would like to use this, please. Game? Do you, are, are you listening? Sir? There we go. Wait, it worked. I... I have no idea how I did it, though. Because it wouldn't let me click on it. And I don't have enough time yet. It's gonna die. God damn it. He's gonna die. Dude, he's gonna... Nah, he's dead. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Cephalon. He's dead, bruh. He's... Was that an infested? What the hell even is this thing? Uh... I didn't know you could choose the wrong answer. Bruh. No, 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 no. I think this is the first time we've actually ever failed a mission. That shit is crazy. That should not have even counted as a failure. Like, I'm... Bruh, that was not my fault. I'm not even going... Wait, hold on. Is it... Is it going to tell me I failed and it's going to consume my cypher? Because I'm not going to hold you. If that's the case, I might have to throw hands with the Lotus, bro. Lotus better send me a new cypher in the mail immediately. Amazon Prime that shit. Because if that shit is hit at my front door in 24 hours, uh, uh bro, I'm nuking Ceres, all right? Ceres no longer needs to exist if that's the case. Like, bro, I'm not... I must know their fate. Bruh, I literally have zero goddamn clue. This is literally the first mission that I failed and it wasn't even my fault. Bruh, I got scammed. What was so important that... All knowledge is important. I would expect you to Oh, okay, so I understand. So I have no idea what a Cephalon is, so I'm just gonna assume it's an AI. Although this thing seems very sentient for an AI, so maybe not an AI. Here's the thing, I'm not gonna lie, this game has so much lore. And I know not none of it, like at all. Like, like, <laughs> like it's kind of painful when I when I uh, think about it that way, because I literally know zero nothings about this game. It's it's, it's highly disappointing, bro. Because I feel like I'm a decent way into the tutorial, and then every once in a while, somebody will just give me a reminder that I'm like not even close to done with the tutorial. <laughs> like, I, I was talking to Orochi this morning, and um, okay, hold on. So how do I use Cipher, please? There we go. All right, cool. Cipher worked, and then I just gotta. It's not that door, because I, I all right, because because I know I I know I'm missing. There we go. No, 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 no. Are you telling me the game is literally rigged to constantly oh, make it? No, bro. Okay, see, this is proof the game just wants to scam me. Come on, bro. Literally, come. Oh my God, bro. Stop. There we go. And now whoever the hell was shooting at me is about to get cooked. You about to get roasted, flambéed. 
Sentinels. Nah, bro. Are they? Because I don't even see any Sentinels. Um, my gratitude is boundless. Are Sentinels and invisible? So that we might discuss. Are our Sentinels so gods? Because like I ain't gonna hold you. This thing doesn't even look existing. We'll find out on our own. Oh, yo, <gasps> bro, Lotus is double crossing our out. Oh, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Lotus just became one of my favorite characters with that shit alone. She's like, uh uh, you wanna keep your secrets? I. Right, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. The only thing standing between you and the, these secrets is murder. And I'm not gonna hold you. Todd specializes in some murder. Alright, boys, let's, let's go figure out them secret. Oh, never mind. Apparently, apparently, we're not figuring out anything. We're just gonna die. That's great. Um, alright, let's just keep bouncing around here. But not nah, for real, like, like <laughs> I just proved the game just wants to scam you, bruh. No matter which door you choose, it's always gonna be the wrong one. You always gotta fight that weird ass infested thing, bruh. Like, this is just proof the game wants to screw me over at every possible turn. But, like, anyway, before, before I went on that tangent, sorry. Um, as I was saying, I spoke to Orochi, like, earlier this morning, right? And he was like, um, you're not gonna be able to pilot a Necromech even if you craft it, by the way. You need to get deeper into the story. And I was like, oh, uh, how deep? And he was like, I can't tell you because that would be spoilers. And I'm like, oh, great. Th that that's very fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, like, what am I supposed to say to that, bro? Like, straight up, how deep am I supposed to go to, to pilot a goddamn Necromech? And, like, here's the thing. I trust Orochi be, uh, to, like prevent the right amount of information right he knows me well enough to know what information i do want to know and what information i don't want to know you know what i mean like he knows me well enough to know what i consider spoilers and what i don't and so if he's okay hold on bro we really gonna have to there we go oh with nine seconds to go oh bro so back in the orbit oh bro he's not gonna be happy about that shit. oh wait hold on oh, i gotta activate the elevator he's not gonna be happy about hold on you know what i'm realizing with how awesome we are in this game, why the hell can we not break windows? Like, bro, who decided... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this window right here, this is Warframe proof. Like, like who decided this shit, bro? Like, deadass. Who, who, who thought this was a good idea? Like, I can drop meteors. Like, actual meteors. Like, but I can't break windows? Like, bro, look at this. I can literally kick people. Look, 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 look at this, bro. Hold on, hold on. Literally, I can kick people. These do damages. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. If they just stop shooting at me for four seconds. See? 45 damage. I'm literally killing people with my heels. That just... That, that sounded so weird, bro. That sounded so weird. But, like, look at this. I'm literally kicking people in the face. And they're taking damage. But I can't break windows? Like, who decided this shit? <laughs> bro, it feels... It feels like a missed... Um, it, it feels really like a, like a missed opportunity to just make the windows crackable. Like, if they take enough damage, you can just break the windows. Like, because I'm not... Because here's the thing. I don't think I've seen a single anything in the game that can break windows. And that means even Necromex and Archwings can't break windows. Like, I'm sorry, bro. That's a little... That's a little hard to believe. You, 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 like, like, sure, okay, you know what? They're Warframe-proofed, whatever. I don't know how Warframe powers work, so maybe they just, they just have, like, anti-Warframe technology or whatever else, like, science bullshit you want to come up with. But, like, but a Railjack or a Necromech, and you're still telling me they can't? Nah, bro, come on now. Let me break some windows, bro. That way I don't gotta self around. Or this will perform analysis on the signature now. Oh, there's nothing here, but... But what? No, don't leave me hanging like that. Here we shall. Oh, yo. Yo. This is what we found uh, during the last arcane mission. Or, oh, well, not the exact same message, but it's the right voice. Bro, what the hell? Pardon, Pardon operator. operator. It seems Ordis is hearing voices again. Voices again. It's not just you, bro. It's not just you, buddy. No, Ortis. Hey, I'm the one who's... Tenno. That's, That's the, the voice from the Arcane Codex. Bro, I just said that shit. Cephalon Samaris is hiding something. And now what he knows. Hey, yo, I'm not gonna lie. It's so badass. These story missions actually tie together. Please treat the great Cephalon with respect. What the hell is a Cephalon? How about this? If you tell me what a Cephalon is, maybe I'll consider treating him. Nah, I'm not even gonna hold you. I would not treat that man with respect. I mean... 
I I'll show him the highest Todd honor by sticking a knife through his heart, okay? Like, how about that? That sounds, bro, that was so crazy. But you know what? That's a great way to end off this episode. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy that episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of this kind of content, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all tomorrow with another episode. Hope you all had a wonderful day. If not, I do hope it turns into a great and wonderful day. See you guys later.